If you've been paying attention to some of the news coming out right at the beginning of Rapid last week, you know that Prusa bought Printed Solid. Let's talk about it. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Remember, if you are new here, make sure to get subscribed and leave a like if you think we deserve it. We're gonna be talking all about the massive news that Prusa has acquired Printed Solid. Right after we talk about today's sponsor, 3D Musketeers. If you love 3D printing, but you hate some of the hassle of doing it, reach out to the pros at 3D Musketeers. We have almost 40 3D printers and over 40 years of experience helping people just like you get the ideas out of your head and into your hands with full art to part, rapid prototyping and product development using awesome machines like the Prusas that you see behind me. It's an amazing thing. And we also now have 3D scanning, which we've I guess had for a while, but I haven't talked about it too much in these sponsor segues. So if you are local to the Tampa Bay area or somewhere in Florida or the Southeast United States, or you don't mind paying for a plane ticket, we would love to help 3D scan anything that you can think of. With our Artec Eva and Artec Ray, we can get things that are real tiny and real big. We actually recently scanned the Florida Capitol. To Depending on how all that comes out, that might be a video. If you skip the sponsor segue, you missed this thing. So yeah. A little bit of insight for you guys that listen to it all. But anyways, let's get back to talking about freaking Prusa buying Printed Solid. I'm excited. Printed Solid took over U.S. distribution to education and business. So if you're looking to buy more than a few printers from Prusa and you were in the United States, you would likely be doing business with Printed Solid. This alleviates some of the challenges for Joe and the team over at Prusa Research. One of them being importing. It's kind of a pain in the ass. And before people go too deep into this, I, I need to point it out because unfortunately people are going to get mad. The printer, the kit is $900. And yes, that's more than what it costs to buy direct from Prusa. What's your point? If you are a government entity or a business that must buy from a USA-based entity, that still beats any USA-based entity that is doing an i3 style printer like that with all the features that has, as well as having the fully fledged Prusa support. And when we look at the assembled version, it is about $200 extra. This covers the shipping, both from Prusa to printed solid and then printed solid to you. Cause of course, printed solid ships things for free. So let's just get past that. But let's take a look at the press release from Proust themselves. Our team has grown bigger again. This has been in the works for quite some time, and it's great that I can finally announce it. And again, this is coming from the man, the myth, the legend, Joseph Prusa himself, the printed solid incorporated becomes a part of the Prusa family. Now, you guys might remember that we interviewed Dave Randolph quite a bit ago on the Making Awesome podcast. We'll card that episode so you all can take a look. And I guess we might be overdue for another one. Although, I'd love to have Joe on an episode. Joe, if you're watching, you should come on as a guest. That'd be a lot of fun. It'd be a lot of fun. But Dave is an amazing guy. For those that don't know him, go watch the podcast episode. But Dave and the team at Printed Solid have really kind of changed the way that I personally have looked at buying filament in the past couple of years. Outside of a few different colors that they don't make or don't make yet, we're still waiting for Elixir, damn it. I've effectively gone sole source over to Printed Solid. At 20 to $22 a kilo for the filament, it is really affordable, especially considering it's USA made. But this is interesting because now we're bringing in the Prusa family, which of course has Prusament. Prusament is a little bit crazier. Let me go get one of my spools of Prusament. I've got a spool right here of the opal green Prusament. We actually used it to print Snoop Dogg a little while ago, and it has a code on it. So let's search this code. Let's take a look at this exact filament. So this is my exact spool. This spool is ID 17A3ACAB, and it was produced on July 26th, 2019. Had it for a while. We can see exactly when it was made. It was made at 4 a.m. Someone was up late. It is 1,024 grams of material, so I got a little bit more than what we paid for. 347 meters. Its diameter is 1.75 millimeter plus or minus 
0.015%. The standard deviation of this spool is 4 microns. Holy shit. And the ovality is 1.9%. Yeah, otherwise known as pretty damn round, right? You're looking at 0.015. That's 15 thousands of a millimeter. They even say here the average human hair diameter is 0 0.075 so yeah 15 micron that's the cool thing i like about this material by the way and every spool has its own unique identifier so if you do have proof cement you can always look that up but if we look at jesse filament which has been our filament here at the shop for a while if you know our time lapses the vast majority of them are done with printed solid filament like this this is the saruman bust from photos mint and this thing is all done in design white hilariously my uh, assistant over here they call me old shiny the base is printed solid black PETG, but the top is a Tech Bears copper silk PLA, because of course, printed solid does not make silks. But if we look at, let's say, one of my new favorite colors, this blue whale gray, we did the bust of Doctor Strange in this material. If we look at the Jesse PLA, we can see that it is also 0 0.02 millimeter across two axes, although I believe Prusa does three. Either way, they're not individually engraving every single spool so you can go and look at your actual spool details. I'm sorry, it's cool. Now, I think the real question is, and you guys have to tell me down in those comments, do you like these style of hexagon spools or do you like the paper spools? in the cardboard spools from Printed Solid. But anyways, this acquisition to me really does help the industry. We can see that things are not going to change too much for Printed Solid. It is going to be business as usual from what we can tell. They are still going to be producing their own internal brand of Jesse Filament. Dave Randolph will remain CEO of Printed Solid Incorporated and the company will continue to maintain its own internal brand of Jesse FDM filaments and safety enclosures as well as reselling third-party products to all sectors of the 3D printing industry in addition to being the exclusive USA reseller and service provider of original Prusa hardware. That hurts my heart a little bit. I would have loved to get in on some of that beautiful, beautiful Prusa reseller money because boy, howdy, do I love their printers and they don't pay me to love them. But this is a great thing. If you guys have ever had to deal with printed solid, they ship reasonably fast. The people are always pleasant. And Dave is a amazing member of this community. Someone that I don't think it could have gone to a better company. Honestly, as someone that would have loved to be in the running, I'm nowhere near the size of printed solid. And this is pretty great. And what we're seeing is that by Q4 of 22, printed solid will acquire more warehousing, operational space, and staffing dedicated to upholding and improving the already industry recognized quality and reputation of Prusa Research and offering USA-based in warranty and out of warranty repairs and service, including parts fulfillment for Prusa Research. That is a big, big deal. Joe and the entire team that provides support over at Prusa Research, that is a massive loss leader for the company, but it's also one of the main reasons a lot of us choose to do business with them. They give a shit about this industry. And if you don't believe me, go contact Prusa Support yourself and see it is 24 hour a day live people not some random call center none of that no these are real people you know industry lovers like you and i that are just here to help and that's pretty cool and to see that we're going to get usa based support but also parts and printers that should alleviate a lot of the issues that we have and we're importing printers if you've ever bought a few prusa printers and they've gotten held up in customs for a while you know what that can be like because it's nothing to do with you it's nothing to do with them it's just us customs being us customs this will alleviate all of those issues and of course it's going to shorten response times for customer repairs and replacements i love this and i think you guys will as well but as we saw in the press release we are going to get more support here so i'm guessing this is going to quite buff up the support that we're seeing from printed solid and even though i've had some issues like we had a roll of filament that came wet they reached out to us directly to get the thing resolved and they were more than willing to refund my money but i already used it no refund needed that to me is what customer service is about that's cool nero 3d made a video where he interviewed dave randolph from printed solid about this acquisition we will card to it and link to it in the description so you guys can check it out as well i guess i should go watch it
We just watched the Nero video together. If you are not a part of our Patreon and want to see me kind of react to Nero's interview with Dave Randolph from Printed Solid at Rapid, make sure you go ahead and join our Patreon at patreon.com slash 3D Musketeers. But that's really it right? There's not too much more going on about this. They're being very, very quiet so far. We can see that there's not too much that's going to change. And this expansion of both staff and storage capacities is going to be a big deal. And that will allow Prusa to stock up their materials in a USA warehouse as well. This seems like the best of both worlds for both parties involved. As Dave himself said, both Dave and Joe have very similar mentalities regarding open source, and their worth ethics are pretty darn similar. I'll tell you, it's often that I see Joe tweeting in the middle of the night for him, and often that I see Dave Randolph tweeting or posting on Facebook in the middle of the night as well. I'm happy, and hilariously, there's been a lot more hate than I expected. There were some people on Twitter that were saying, oh, there goes cheap Jesse filament. No, I mean, yeah, it might cause some price increases, but I don't think we're going to see anything crazy. We did just see a price increase from printed solid, but that was a 5% price increase that took every spool up $1. And if $1 makes or breaks your business, then you need to raise your prices because your margins are too damn thin. But if you guys want to see a video or maybe we do another podcast talk where we're talking all about the business of 3D printing, let me know. Uh, it's something that I'd love to share with everyone. I'm a lot less concerned about keeping the secret it's a secret here and more of educating everyone and kind of showing how the sausage is made if you will here at 3d musketeers i think this is a massively mutually beneficial relationship and it came out at the perfect time it was like day one of rapid that it came out and yeah twitter went crazy let's let's take a look at twitter we can see that the post from printed solid has 743 likes 151 retweets 91 comments and the post from joe himself has 344 likes 35 retweets and 35 comments it's a pretty big deal if you ask me i'm glad pooch loves it i love it bob loves it perillo loves it this is a good thing but i want to know what you guys think i see a lot of benefit here and i'm having a hard time seeing any negatives i really am and i think the 3d printing professor hit it right on the nail better than MakerBot and ultimaker and joe says yeah we probably stole the spotlight from them a bit good well good because i don't like MakerBot. i do like ultimaker they're pretty cool. But yeah, I, I I have to agree that I am hoping that we get some poly alchemy elixirs come back. But I guess that now means that Prusa owns the recipes to poly alchemy elixir. So that's interesting. We'll have to see what happens there. Maybe we'll get some more interesting colors out of Prusa. I'm just looking to see if I can find people pissed off, but I can't because this is good news all around as far as I'm concerned. But yeah, let me know what you guys think down in those comments. I want to know your thoughts on this. I'm sure I'm missing something. There's obviously going to be some growing pains here for Printed Solid as they effectively need to minimally double their workforce, double their warehouse space, and likely double up their filament capacity because as we saw in Nero 3D's video, Dave is likely going to be doing some production of Prusament. And I'll be curious to see if that kind of stringent standard makes its way over to Jesse and what that looks like if they're going to run independent lines, if it's going to be the same machines, just, you know, the accuracy is not turned up to 11, or how they kind of handle this transition. I'm excited because this kind of solves one of the major issues that I've always had with recommending Prusas to schools, is that they can't easily buy them. And yes, with the initial dealings of Printed Solid taking Taking over the business and education side of Prusa here in the States alleviated some of those concerns. I think this kind of rounds out the entire sphere of the printed solid and Prusa relationship. I like it. Let me know what you guys think down in those comments. But that's all I have for you today. Stay safe out there. Don't forget to call your loved ones. And as always, keep making awesome. Have a good one. I'm guessing this is going to quite beef 
Hey, thanks so much for watching this video, and a massive thank you goes out to all of our Patreon and YouTube channel member supporters. Remember, if you want to support this channel directly, you can do so at patreon.com slash 3D Musketeers, or you can hit that join button right below this video. Right below me will be the talk about Ultimaker and MakerBot, another big acquisition merger it's a merger not an acquisition to come out of the early stages of rapid and next to that is going to be our talk with dave randolph from printed solid i will see you guys down in those comments and in the next one take care